is a big part of, uh, of, uh, of children's life and more and more and it should be because technology is a part of everyday life and uh, we should be able to not only use technology but to create it as well. And not only the, uh, the tech geeks but, uh, but everybody from a very young age on. Together with partnerships, with uh, great partnerships like European Schoolnet, together with European Commission that could influence uh, governments and uh, political leaders, and with uh, business partnerships. And that's why I'm really pleased and proud that uh, the business leaders in, uh, in Europe uh, work together on creating a uh, regional platform on, uh, on coding. We are aligning and partnering together with uh, five to six other companies right now, including Rovio and Facebook and, and SAP and, uh, and Microsoft, the company where, where I work for. And we have just launched a uh, regional platform for coding. And uh, together with the uh, leadership of European Schoolnet, we're going to uh, put under this umbrella all our coding initiatives that we already uh, undertaking and to, to make it bigger and even more impactful. So we're really working together to, uh, to be as impactful as possible. It's very important because we have, uh, there's this skills gap of uh, that we actually have a high rate of uh, unemployment and youth unemployment in Europe. But on the other hand, we have more than 200,000 unfulfilled uh, jobs especially in the ICT sector. So for our industry, it's, it's of vital importance that we uh, get uh, people on board that are able to, uh, to use and create technology. So it sits in our interest, but it's in the interest of society as a whole, I think. I hope that in near future, um, it will be, uh, coding will be a similar topic which you can choose in schools like uh, math or uh, science or French or whatever. That will be great. That's the, uh, that's the end goal.